I really do love the idea of gathering and communicating. Actually getting people together and having a conversation and talking about something and communicating without your phone. Something that is real. I am from Helena. I grew up here. Colleen, my aunt and partner in crime, grew up in the same family. So there's a lot of the same energy that's brought to the table. My family loved to make people feel great, loved to celebrate. Colleen is like incredibly hospitable, always has been. Making sure everyone's glasses are filled and there's food on the table. There's always room for one more, room for two more. And these are all things that are part of hospitality. So it's something I've had with me for a really long time. And I took that philosophy with me in everything that I've done. I initially got into wine through restaurants. I was an actress prior to my wine career. When I wasn't performing, I was waiting tables. When I moved to New York, I was a distributor, I was a supplier, I ran restaurant, I ran wine programs. I had a pretty intense uh, wine life. I was introduced to someone that's inspired me from the moment that we met, the restaurateur of the world, Danny Meyer. I'm introduced to this idea of enlightened hospitality. The words were new, but the concept was the same. And that's something that was eye-opening to me and really exciting because it's not complicated. It's really simple. It's being nice and taking care of others' needs and listening. One of the reasons I wanted to move back was to slow down a little bit, get back a hold of the peace in my life and you know, bring my wine back with me. And the idea was to open a wine store to be able to communicate you know, kind of what I've gathered along my journey about wine and hospitality. Really allow guests to understand, get a sense of what they really like. When it comes down to it, it was all inspired, I think, by my family and my growing up in this wonderful, supportive community. That's ultimately what's called me back. We do like to treat people like we would at our own home. When people walk through the door, we want to make sure that they're comfortable. I don't want to scare people off with wine. This is a beer drinking town. So the idea of just making it a little bit more accessible, making it a little bit more easy to grasp and easy to talk about, have them get to know what they actually like. The stories bring more life to the glass and to the wine. people that nurture the process from beginning to end. The husband and wife team that have this really small plot right outside of their house that they handpick. To me, is so much more exciting than this wine sees 24 months in new French oak. There's something very unique about wine. It's living and it's breathing, it's growing, it's changing. If you allow it to, it can really take you to a very calming place in this crazy world that we're living in. And it brings about this opportunity for everyone to have a conversation. Hospitality is about people. It's about taking care of people. It's about First and foremost, taking care of our own people. Treating each other with kindness. It does sound so cheesy, I know, but it, it really does. But it's the basis for success in life. Opening our energy and our ears and our hearts to taking care of people's needs. If we made someone stay or made them feel better than they felt when they came in, that, then we, we accomplished our goal.